Yeah. But we, we didn't record it, though. So we no, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to make sure if we had done that. you to note okay. that this airplane has done 11,110.00 landings. <laughs> Who logs landings to the hundred?
there on the end of P1. What's the tentacle do for you? Uh, is it a standard like uh, two tether pack drop the handrail on the P1? So or drop it, the green hook on the P1? No green hooks actually. Translation. Or tether routing too much. Do you want to talk about why? Uh, I don't. So you've got EV1 straight shot out to the end of P1. And EV2 is going to be addition path to this point. I um, think their concern was trying, even in, you know, especially in a rescue, trying to thread the path between the radiator and the ATA, and then oh. overs. But I would think you would have the path. You would have the path. I, I like the. You would have the. My guess is you would have the length. I'd have to. Right. I'd have to do it in Doug. I don't know whether they've looked at. They either brought it down or they the or they trashed it. I'm not sure. Right. Okay. And sand check. That's the easy way from the outside. Of the area. Free end versus the fixed end. Obviously, one's longer. I can look inside here, and I still don't know here. I care. Um, do I care if there's a little bit of strap uh, floating in the breeze there? I would no, still I it fold it so it's out of your way and it doesn't get caught in anything. Um, right. For that. So it's in medium tie down duration mode without the wire tie. <laughs> <laughs> medium tie down. One year. Medium duration tie down. Sense tools. Yeah. Ed. Okay. Uh, stop taking your. Sand check question. So when I, I blasted through the procedures real quick, um, the way I leave this before I take the dive into the truss and get the APFR, I, I think I saw the procedure told me to loosen this, which means that the only thing that holds this in place is the rep that I have. Is that correct? Yep. And that's how I leave it for Pojo. Yes. Yeah, we can do it that way. Uh, I've also seen it done where I see our scenario. And I'm not worried about it. It is in your rotational envelope, but you're already have the GA or the mouth already, so it's not going to rotate. All right. We'll be lighter on gas. Um, this is good, and they can take us. You can do it. You brought up metabolic. I was going to be my next question for you. So you beat me to where I was going. But I didn't think about the heat yeah. uh, transfer. I bet it was hot there. It was. Way hotter in here. This and is, like, here. cool. Get, it is. get out of here. It is. <laughs> it really, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys. We'll look at the the documents when we get to Huntsville. Huntsville. Status. Status. HSA, HSB. Morning, meaning M O U R, not M O R. So, uh, not to their diurnal habits or their. Whoa. So, Ellington's 37. Or was 37 degrees. Yeah. yeah.
I'm wearing my dark visor and not my clear visor. That's right. And that's how you make it dark. something like that uh, I found that usually doing one approach at Acadiana and then when you go over to Chenault you'll probably get two yeah you know? okay yeah so perfect um, okay. you know yeah or if we're on a big VFR day let's just continue flight yeah. under VFR and land in other words we pick up a VFR hemispheric altitude mm -hmm. we come up initial at a runway we wag our wings when we pitch out to land we look for a green light from tower oh there's a green light we're landing
Just that now, if you'd like. Yeah, if you don't mind putting the load alleviating, I feel like I'm holding most of the seat weight myself. WROTD, can you take us up to 75? Can work. There we are. Okay, locked on the left. How's it feel? Yeah, oh, great. All right. Copy. Okay. Oh, actually, these go in today. That's okay. pretty cool. Per the steps, what's... Do you need your palm bars tightened at all? Uh, I can do that later with my pressure. Okay. Huh. Uh, check that the glove heater... Connected on the left. I can go into three. Okay. Oh, yeah. For three. Okay, helmet coming on. Left ear cup. There we go. We can start the timer. All and right. two, one, start. Roger. Yeah, it's just one of those things we wanted to kind of get. Reeb it on. Yep. Gabby? Right up. Right. They don't work in here. That one does. Oh, Joe, if you want me to take that adjustable off your wrist, I can do that. Just a moment. O2 to press. Happy. And just around. Now we're going to slide over to... Get that. Here, let's take that thing off, if you don't mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going over to IV. All right. CM purge valve, open and lock. Verify that the suit pressure is decreasing. Copy. DCM purge valve, come on open. <laughs> It's decreasing. Give me copy. All right. It should it be going down to 2.5? No. And hold yes for two seconds to lock the parameter. Lock. Okay. And during this purge, you would monitor to make sure that O2P is above 7.25. Go to IV. So I think the antifog is, is a really good idea. We should talk uh, later about our discussion about, we had a long discussion yesterday about warm restart options. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. It was a good conversation. With, With this team, team, I think. It. Yeah. Payback chart. Um, but it's still, the dust is still settling on that one. Sure. So. Yep. Can All I right. leave a setting of four? You can leave the setting of four. On the interplay that you guys have to do and discuss things and make decisions about who's going to do what. And uh, on the other side, by the way, it's close to the I'll be as helpful as I can, and also it's a balance of getting training. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay, well, welcome. Uh, so it sounds like you guys know each other very well, so I'll skip the introduction to you all. Uh, so today, as you're already aware, we're rushing out, which is new. Um, for our mock-ups, we don't have any, so we'll be on the MR2 platform, and I'll just bring part of you that is the Russian name. Okay, and then through eight, uh, you all will be docked at no two forward uh, in our mock-ups for today. That's utilization, because it varies uh, on how we utilize the masks. Uh, so, as far as PBA usage, if you need, and if your scenario requires you to don an emergency mask, uh, you can do this in your scenarios, and I especially encourage uh, Tracy to do the dawn and purge during an ammonia. We won't have to have a Whatever.
want to figure out where T-Res, are you doing T-Res? Yes, I have it going now. Start at 7.38 okay. and the timer's going right now. Okay. And now it's 7.34. Okay. And it's 43 seconds. The timer dropped one millimeter. Well, I know, so, okay, so we're gonna take that time and divide it by four, or now it's... I can do HGI for you. Four? Yeah, so that's like nine, nine. seconds, yeah. Nine, about. Nine yeah. millimeters a minute? No, per millimeter. That's better than 10 minutes. Yep. Yep. Use the station on two right, HDI, HDI to flex towards the other two. Did uh, anybody see or hear anything? Keep the copy HDI to flex towards node two. Doing well in yeah. node two, working a leak procedure. We're on page 109, that's a 1.36 procedure. We're showing about a 48 minute T res. Our we'll get a better number, but we're getting, uh, we concur with your 48 minutes, 48 minutes. Okay. Standing by for uh, leak check results from the Soyuz crew. Copy. And uh, we are checking Columbus and uh, Jim. Let me get a better T1. And we'll wait for it to see whether I'm. We got uh, 65, 65 minute heroes, and we're working on our uh, docking port check now. Okay. Attach the vectors pointing into uh, the line. Our okay. Soyuz and MLM Russia node are not leaking. Uh, I think the rapid deep press, but it doesn't actually. Doesn't, mean that doesn't mean it's yeah, resolving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the EPAY sensors that you're talking about resolving don't feed into They don't feed this. Yeah. Okay. Point seven. Crew compliments, all crew compliments. Watching T Res. Okay. Crew coordination. Let's see here. Okay. We don't have any private guys. Uh, we're going to work the center line hatches. If it deflects towards <coughs> node one, leak is aft of node one, so we go to 162. So we can probably report that if that was yeah. definitive. Mm -hmm. All right. We go to step 23. Step 23. Mm -hmm. At 660, looking at this line here, so it's like. It's is below 40 now. Okay, so it's yeah. about 30, 30, 30s, 35 ish, 30 some odd minutes. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. what was the. I agree. Equipment retrieval would work now. Okay. Right. And got, what do we, we got? got? got towards me! All right. Also noted towards the equipment lock. All right. Leak is in node one equipment locker PMA. So we continue. I see us at step 28, if you agree, uh, TC. Concur. All right. Towards me. Towards you for sure? Towards us. All right. Okay, so I see it. It's pretty clear. Leak is Towards in node, node one. one. Leak is in node one. Continue. Okay. All right. Towards me. Towards you? Okay. Towards Leak. us. Not Leak Tracy. Is in node one. <laughs> All right, I see it's at step 31, node one isolation. So let's do it. I say we're we're done with equipment retrieval. We've done what we're going to do. Okay. Use our actual team our this time. Our pressure is 605, and it's dropping at. Um, so the 605, we're still dropping at nine seconds. We're actually at about 20 minutes. We're not at 20 minutes of T rest. Okay. That's the number we need to make our decisions on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Can. All right. New no. station. Did you uh, copy last? Still stable at 601. You see copies, and we concur. Okay. Fire. We got to put on a PBA because um. No, it's over there. Okay. Hit the button. Okay. Yeah. I was looking to see the what was on. Hit yeah, the yeah. button. Fire. Close but not last. Oh yeah, that's what kicked us off. Any visible smoke in no two? Well, I'm checking to any. see if we need to okay. mask up. So far, all the smoke is in, the, in there. All right, and we have Dragon crew accounted for in no two. No two starboard hatch uh, closed but not latched. We do not see visible smoke pending CSACP readings. Two decimal one of the Emer book. That is correct, and we're moving on to step seven. All right, fire continues, USOS fire source location. Yeah. Okay, we got me, we see the smoke detector script, and uh, you have I don't see the A word. Shock three. No clear indications of a fire source. Shock copy. Okay, we copy, and uh, we are working through step two and just verifying we still have a good safe haven in no two. 
I'm sorry, what was it? The well, generator? Say this time okay. Because, right, so we have to put that somewhere and we're generally in red land. Aim it towards yeah. where we feel like the smoke will be. Oh, okay. So they're, okay, so they're forcing. Don't too much into that. Roger. So this looks like it was big. Uh, we seem to see a little bit more smoke propagation around forward three, but are told not to put too it's much. It's, in that. it's actually deck three area smoke. Uh, and the uh, correction, that's uh, deck three area. Pointed source, uh, defer to you. I would recommend starting near deck three, but then yeah. we can go to the other method. Okay. All right, so they've got all Copy all for the service marshal. Okay, so in the fire port amp. Um, this looks like you guys were... Well, I was looking. Yeah, we didn't see any fails. Yeah. So, right. so review, we're going to go in. You're going to watch in here. We just like the dragon. The yep. If we need to, we would progress over that side. And we're going to keep these going. Copy yeah. the yep. And then um, mask up. Mask up. We're going to sample in the cabin and then sample for it. Sample in the cabin. 30 seconds in between. Right. Uh, this. Okay, let's jam that in the door. All right, this is our 1G. 33, 32, Columbus Ambient. That's at 1039. Yeah. No, pay no attention to that. Pay no attention to that. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I think you guys can come out now. We've found the fire port and we're going to unpower in there. It's going to turn out the lights. This one, this one is going to. There's a few things to power off from the PTC. Okay. It'll be good to have these guys out of there for now. Okay, let's check our CSACP. You guys can pull off your mask for a little while. Yeah, the final background is 144. Copy that. All right, we are still safe. David, this is from the module, right? Yeah, that's okay. the cabin. Okay. Thank you. Service module team copies. Oh. Thank you. Back here on the airport power down. See the cabin window. Oh. Cabin window. Okay. Hey, Mike. Yes, ma'am. Our cabin view. Uh, what? Yeah, initial reading 313. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Mike. Yeah. The port reading, the fire port is 313. Was it 8.5 that? Three one three. Three two zero. Okay. Three two zero. Okay. Oh, that's it. Copy three two zero. Go, go. <laughs> Let's blow it. Deck in two, Bravo two. Deck two, Bravo two. Do not touch the bottom. It gets very cold. I'm bracing him so he doesn't. Stop. Good call. Forty-eight seconds or so. Forty-five. Forty-eight. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for John Paul's smoke. Yeah, exactly. The smoke of John Paul. The smoke of John Paul. And it's partly dark. Um, we can shine a laser pointer in there and light up the smoke. If only we had a green one. Did you get disapproved again? No, we got it. We got two of them. Houston copies nailed it. Uh, we believe... Uh, then that the module power down is not required. We did uh, manage to get a, a video from Columbus routed to the ground so we can help keep an eye on things, but we'll just check in 
over the next uh, hour or so and just confirm that the fire is out. Yeah. Pass it code three for a little bit yeah. um, and then go to the toilet trainer. <laughs> Pardon me for that. Oh, do you want to go to note three? Instead? Note three, yes. Yeah. Be careful. Ten crew hours of work to get the dose pump, the connectivity monitor installed. You still have to put in a new questionnaire. Be honest, and we want, we want good <laughs> feedback. Uh, and th those those are timeline. I mean, you're gonna get uh, uh, the. the um, y'all are gonna be a, a great crew to work with, and uh, uh, I know y'all gonna have a good time together. And I'll have to email some pictures. We're coming your way. Can't wait. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go over to beam. Yep. Thanks for your time. Yep. Thank yeah, you. Good to see you. Looking forward <laughs> to it. Uh, that was good to see you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. You're awesome. Thank yeah, you. Just hanging out with y'all. I know. The inflatable module docked to the Note 3 app patch. It was flown aboard SpaceX 8 in April 2015. Additionally, powered equipment can only be left unattended for 15 minutes. You're there for quite a while, so you might. Like, uh, do we take grab samples in there every once in a while? No, it's not anymore. The IMD is continuously circulating. That's basically, we don't have any shell heaters, so that's what provides the condensation control, temperature control. So the uh, the long-term plan is to, to keep beam? We're going to keep it, I think, as long as it holds air. Uh, it's <laughs> right now, it's... We had an, it was originally two and a half year tech demo. We, we added five years to that uh -huh. and we're approaching the end of that structural extension. That's and then they're working on potentially extending it even more. But I, I, I suspect it, it's providing a very valuable service with 3,000 plus pounds of really sure. large stuff. It's also. Have you had an MMOD um, strengths? The what? MMOD strengths? We, we think so because we've got the DIDs and we've. Because they kind of come in from the oh. top potentially. Right. So this is like an exposure facility now, really. <laughs> yes, and, and the, the two REMs, they've been able to get data that they can maybe better and map the Sol South Atlantic anomaly, oh, from what well, I've heard. Yeah. It's pretty cool. See ya. Thank you. around in prep for E4D. It's a new exercise device that's going to be going in Columbus, probably being installed after. It's in PMM 1 deck 4, so all the way back to PMM. Uh, it's full of stowage. We're going to be emptying that and move it. And then when they were designing this new exercise device, um, they are like, hey, we still have a shell of this rack. We're going to go ahead and just outfit it for this uh, for this new device. You know, look through on your own time. This is just big picture all of like the, the steps uh, we're going to need to do to get through. So all the things that you're going to need to reconfigure so you know we're going to need to collapse the... Um, yeah. do this in coordination with the food tree. I guess there's some toilet. Yeah, there are some toilet ops and that is something we will be discussing at the increment level, the timing of when this rack transfer occurs in relation to those toilet operations that you just It'll talked about. Yep, so we'll my core rack uh, that's back there. So... And... This is just for egg config. Um, all this to say, we're moving a bunch of stowage, but this is kind of the no earlier than end of April is kind of what we're looking at now. Realistically, I expect this to probably happen sometime May, June, July, but it really depends on what those flight schedules look like. Like, what do you have to have, or uh, what's your time limit or event wise? E4D's so our, not coming anytime soon. Right. right? So, so our, the E4D hardware, the bulk of it is coming up NG21. With maintenance, if you remember from your fluid system skills class can be very difficult. 
have one inch markings on your tools over here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the retaining ring installation and removal tool. And if you guys recall, yes, the back end, very good, is the tool we use to help remove that retaining ring. Yep. And you can see the little, yep, the little pick right there. Yep. And so what you need to do is find the, end, the angle from the side and just kind of rock and pry the end of that retaining ring up. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was, so, I was picking that with instrument. my fingernail, but I wanted and to follow And what he just it. said is, so we always let, let, uh, let our students struggle with this tool to show you that it's not great, and especially when that retaining ring is super duper flat. Right. It's pretty difficult to get. <laughs> hey, if you get it off, we're happy. We don't care how it comes off. Um, but yeah, and we've even, we've started putting that in our procedures. Like, well, we'll obviously we have the tool in there. Yeah, it's like, it actually helped get it off. And so, yeah, so imagine that didn't happen. You can go ahead and put that back on for me. It's, it's stuck on there. And you would take your, your tool, the gamut still removal tool, and you would put it flush on over top. So this guy right here. So you wanna, yep. So you wanna make sure the plunger is fully retracted, your gates are fully open. And then yeah, you're gonna put it straight on and then you're gonna tighten your gates. And the bottom of that tool is now closing and just clamping on top of that seal, just grabbing it. Clamp it all the way down, just till hand tight till you can't tighten anymore. And then you'll rotate the plunger at the top on there. But normally after a few attempts, this tool will actually get the seal off, but it doesn't always come off on that first attempt. Any questions about getting the retaining ring off? Or getting Looking out for both of you, the retaining ring is, uh, yeah, hold on, so you pull the plunger, yeah, and you, then you slide the top out, pull it out, and the cone's off the stone. This is really you can You can keep, uh, keep that disengaged, and then you just go right back over your fitting, flush on, and zip it straight on. Really stuck, do we have a um, strip nut or a cross-coupled thread? Or? Um, these attachments here are... Uh, uh, jammed into the seat track, and in fact, I think we think one of them is actually bent. Huh. And uh, it's just <coughs> you, one of you, or uh, one of your crewmates will be uh, installing the new dose pump. Uh, that dose pump, if you remember, is located about where that hose is yep. pointing, right here. Yep. Uh, options for access are leave it as is, which I don't recommend. It's really tight to get it. <laughs> so a uh, little uh, oopsie there. Um, but uh, we're flying up a spare dose pump, so uh, numerous parts coming up in spring. You can yeah. sell real estate yeah. in the Sahara Desert. Yeah. This is yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, um, but in addition <coughs> to providing a red redundancy on the U.S. side for, for waste, we really want toilet to uh, uh, run to be the primary uh, waste oh. management system on, on the U.S. side for, for as long as we can. And uh, who wants these two? Okay. Oh, we got two? Yeah, yeah okay. two. Okay. Yeah. Well, two crew. Two crew, three hands. Yeah, three yeah. hands. And so, uh, we don't have the entire fitting mocked up, but look, it's this guy right here. This fitting is the outlet, output from the separator is going to connect right here X number of years ago. But it'll, it'll uh, be there. Be, and the torque is only, uh, let me make sure I get this right. Uh, Pounds uh, is, is the torque on that. Right. I'm betting you could stick that wrench in there. And walk in. This is like that. the Mario Luigi Mario. moment. Yep. It's, well, the Until sensor. We got a hold yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, the sensor is caught, but it actually has a bubble diverter because the, the first iteration. Okay. We always turn off air surf when we open the port because we want to keep dirty space station air away from our space. So it's part of the pressure off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here. Okay. And then we'll do the rest. And oh, and then you uh, can, I'll I can like email you before. right before okay. we do the week before we do the payload. I can send you information. Okay. So you want the blue line at the end? Yes. Blue line at the end. There we go. Kind of like that. Perfect. And a strip of Kapton that gathers your small trash yeah. with the sticky side up. Yeah. Well, I was thinking I would put it here, but we're doing work works. here, right? Yeah, you're going to work probably here-ish. Um, so yeah, that to me looks pretty good. I like it. <laughs> and then if you'll take a needle strip 
and a few needle strips. We're just going to do one today. Okay, so and you can stick that above where you have the needles and it should also have, does it not have the clear backing? No. Actually, we're going to set up, you have three types of wipes in there. You've got biocide wipes, mm -hmm. BZK wipes, and sterile gauze. We're going to set up a strip of each. So that can just go on Velcro that you have. I think that capped on. I want to show you if you this one? that. Yeah, you can just okay, set up that. So this we're going to put here. Mm -hmm. So this has Velcro there. Yes. And okay. should have the green dot and one more that is that same size with the green dot. And you are going to stow that, yep, yeah, um, we'll set that up and that can get temp stowed on the left. And oh, the, the, oh, it's not yeah, the, the other side. Exactly. Okay. Is there you can actually put it in the middle and bring the bungees up from either side. And if you look on the left and right, there is septa, the orange septa. Mm -hmm. That is where we're poking the needles through. Yep. And there's a number of pokes on the septa so they don't start leaking. Copy. And that can go in your trash bag. I was going to ask, is this trash now? Okay. That's trash. And with a, a rinse syringe off the back wall. Okay. Take it out of the packaging. Okay. And then the needle wrapper can go on your cat on trash. Like as we get to the smaller trash, I think they work pretty well. Okay. And the piece out, I can. We fly. There is always an outer tongue in this bag. So we do biology. We want everything to stay clean. We also have this little cat on pad so that if you need to temp stow ah, something okay. somewhere. So that wasn't holding it closed at all? That was no, okay, no. Gotcha. And okay. so the trick is you want to get in the sleeves and then kind of basically pull it up on your arm as much as you can. So I want these things are on the inside or the outside? Those are on the inside. Okay. That's your first layer. So yeah, first layer. It's always, you're right. going to discover it there. Right. So, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm betting I'll have to tape if it's okay. exactly these. Yeah, I, this is one of those methods to madness. So, yeah. um, I usually have it go in a little bit more, and then take this tab and use it to secure to the back panel, just uh, okay. a little sticky bit to the back panel. And now, what this piece that we have for you? Do I need these? Are these BZKs? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I should have also given you your toolkit, which if you take the Velcro board in the toolkit and slide that out. Uh, so oh, these just, guys. Yeah. Okay, so this is called a Velcro bar? <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is why this LSD, yeah, because yeah, yeah. suddenly it will all make sense. Okay. From that piece, that hook piece that, that you had. Place. Yep, and then you tape it down to anywhere here. And then once you do that, you will see the genius of our plan. The only thing I wonder about is the Velcro often overcomes the tape, right? Right, but this is where, so. So let's say yep. right here? Mm -hmm. These Velcro bars, your tools right. just like that, you have it on there. So they are, again, an easy get out of the way right. spot. Okay. And now we will deploy this came out of 4c that would be your media yep so. probably work well here too yeah it's true it's pretty sticky yep and that way you're not um dealing with that clear piece okay uh practical question yes. um like gold they're pre-velcroed i did it yeah pre-velcroed and pre-tabbed pre yeah okay yeah and you get everything we just want no contact with the tips no because mm -hmm. we're kind of keep contamination away from. Okay, so that's sterile, all right? Yep, everything. Uh, now you're gonna BZK wipe the septa on the left and right sides. Your septa are these red circles. Okay. Black is our media. Right. Uh, here, I will be your gravity assist. Okay. Now you're gonna take a full syringe. Oh, wow, that's a lot. And, well, actually, no, sorry. I mean, take one of the full syringes off the board. Oh, uh, okay, so I, I'm not drawing yet. Now. Not yet. Okay. But that is what you'll eventually do. Okay. So. Paid it in. Yeah. And okay. then once that is clicked, now you lock the guide. Gotcha. 
And that just keeps, when you're doing these um, activities, keeps that plunger straight, because otherwise the same, so we're not gonna go through that piece, but that's why. Okay. And then I will always tell you where to end here. You'll mm -hmm. end at a hard stop there. Yep. Here I'm gonna want you to end at 30 ml. Oh, so the next one is gonna, uh, but I'm still doing it in five mil yeah. increments. Okay. Five mil increments just until that one's empty at hard stop and on this side, 30 ml. Cool. And again, I will be in your, you pull that one out. And first thing you'll do is aim it at the gauze and safe the needle. Well, here we don't expect anything to express, right? No, but the whatever's left over in the needle could. And now take off your plunger tool. Because you want to keep that. Yes. And that wipes just the way you have it um, off the bottom. Roger. And um, wherever you're operating with science, in the middle, we'll look at some different options of that. So they're going to... This is on the magnetic seat track. So I, this is obviously, Off it's just this piece on the magnetic seat track. This is my, I need something for gravity. Sure. Thing. You're going to come in with a media syringe on one side, mm -hmm. a waist on the other, do your exchange. On the day we do fixation, we're going to actually do a PFA wash. Oh, really? Okay. So you'll do PFA. And this is also going to be the same needle. Right. And then. Brilliant. That is really cool. <laughs> Again, and go team. Yeah. So in this case, what happens is um, this one is where we take samples because there are diffusers on the side, and this because I broke the plunger, I before I successfully broke the plunger, this thing came out of there. And right. That, that is really loose. Yeah. So that takes almost no effort. That is a really good. And I don't know that that would be a problem per se. Well, so I think what could happen if you don't realize you've loosened it. Yeah. It's not going to pull sample in. Yeah, that's anymore. true. And I think incubator or sable, these are thaw pouches. Mm -hmm. They'll be warmed up to 43C. Right. And you can get that out of Melfi, tuck it in here to do, and we can agitate just to right, right, right. swirl the warm water.